Harvesting tax losses is not a new idea, but it works differently in a direct index account. Many advisors harvest tax losses at the end of the year. They ask clients about the gains that they have elsewhere in their portfolio that they might like to offset and find opportunities within the portfolio they control to potentially sell names that have experienced a loss. Frequently, the proceeds of that sale are parked in something like a sector ETF or an index ETF in hopes of moving back into the original name after 30 days, after the wash sale period has ended. But what if the name you moved into, the temporary name, rises in value? That's one of the advantages of tax loss harvesting at the end of the year, because if you have to take a short-term capital gain moving out of that name, you'd rather take it at the beginning of next year. So tax loss harvesting has taken on a, an important end of year ritual quality for most advisors, but tax losses can happen throughout the year, any month of the year, based on the fluctuations in prices. And advisors who only harvest at year end are missing potentially 10 months of harvesting opportunities throughout the year. In a direct index portfolio, we look for opportunities to harvest tax losses whenever and wherever they occur in the portfolio. And a tax loss need not be a permanent loss for the client. Because direct index portfolios typically have hundreds of names, we aren't generally looking for a temporary replacement for any name we sell. We're looking for a permanent replacement. We look for some combination of names or single name that replicates the performance of any name that we've sold. And on any particular day, we may sell dozens of names in the portfolio in order to capture a meaningful tax loss. Our optimization engine will look for some other combination of names, perhaps another couple dozen of different names whose performance characteristics bring the portfolio back to where it was before we made that sale. We're always looking at the difference between short-term gains and long-term gains. A short-term loss is actually more valuable than a long-term loss because it can offset a short-term gain that's taxed at a higher rate. So as a general practice, you'd like to accelerate the realization of losses so that they are short-term and defer the realization of gains so that they are long-term. That's the best way to get good after-tax performance in a portfolio. Remember that you can use losses realized to offset gains elsewhere in the portfolio or carry forward in time. You can even offset some ordinary income. As with all tax matters, clients should pursue professional tax advice. That's not your job, you're an investment advisor. But understanding how to manage taxes within a direct index portfolio and why we harvest tax losses the way we do will help the client understand all of the benefits associated with a direct index separately managed account.